There's no pectoral fibers here or here, right? So. Incline bench press doesn't work your upper chest. Sounds pretty contrarian, right? I don't know, you tell me. I'm gonna break down Borny style a lot of the common talking points. So first and foremost, the most prevalent one is arm path relative to your pec fibers. Yes, those do matter. However, what people tend to neglect when they look at flat versus incline versus decline is the arch. The arch changes everything. The arch totally changes your arm path and thus the pec fibers that you bias from this to this. The amount that you arch is going to have a much larger impact on the pec fibers that you're targeting than the actual incline or decline that you're using. So why do you use an incline or a decline or a flat bench press? The simple answer is most people are going to arch when they bench press from one degree to another. So logically, the only other way to adjust the angle at which your arms target your pec fibers is with an incline or a decline or a flat bench. So we manipulate the angle that we're manipulating with our arch back into an optimal path for our upper chest. It sounds like some giga brain shit, but that's essentially exactly what happens. Now that's exactly why some people feel incline bench in their upper pecs and some don't. How an exercise interacts with a specific individual is relative to that individual and the specific biomechanics that they are using. Meaning, per the technique that they're using, the exercise is going to have a given result. So squats aren't necessarily a good leg exercise if you're not doing them in a manner that would necessitate leg growth. A lot of people just only get glute and lower back growth because of the way that they do it. Thus, an incline bench is the same thing. Regardless of what pec fibers that you're biasing, there are a few universal truths that dictate why you would use an incline bench press in a strength and conditioning program. First and foremost, the range of motion is typically going to be larger than a flat bench press because your arch has less of a determining factor in the total amount of range of motion that is removed. It also challenges the mid-range because of the larger range of motion, meaning if you have a sticking point where the bar slows down in the middle of your rep, somewhere near the middle of the bar path, because you're using a larger range of motion, when you return to the smaller range of motion, you'll blast right past it. And plus, it just fucking looks cool, guys. Don't overthink this shit. Figure out what works for you. Pay attention to your individual biomechanics and then figure out what you need to individually adjust with your technique to target and bias the muscles that you're looking to work. Y'all have a good one.